Hello and welcome to Healing Womanhood. I'm Saffron and this is the fourth and final video in our series Safe. So this is part one of our fourth and final week and our theme for this week is sleep. Feeling safe at night, feeling safe to go to sleep. So the first thing that we're going to do is do some tapping around that in this video and then in our second video which is exclusive to Patreon members we're going to do another lovely meditation of being a hibernating animal and bringing the safety of the earth around us so that we can sleep, feeling the protection of the earth. It's going to be so lovely. So if you are not yet a Patreon member, please do join. It's only £5 a month and there's some just beautiful meditations on there. So before we begin tapping, I'd like you to just tune in to how you feel about sleep, how you feel on an evening. So it may be that you go to bed and you get straight to sleep, but then you wake up and you're feeling unsafe then and the anxiety comes in. Or it may be that you go to bed and you can't get to sleep for hours and hours and hours and then eventually you do get to sleep. So some of the parts of this video will be more relevant to one than the other. So I'm going to just use words that apply to both of those situations. And if you need to adjust any words, you can always, always do that. And if you can refer back to our how to do EFT video um, and that emphasises how you can just change the words to suit your own situation. If ever I say any words that don't quite hit home for you and something else comes into your mind, say that something else always. So, yes, tuning in to how you feel about sleep, either how you feel when you get into bed or how you feel if you wake up in the night. And we're not going to put a number on this one, we're just going to start tapping. So even though I don't feel safe to go to sleep, I struggle with my sleep. And I wonder if feeling safe might have something to do with that. I wonder if there's something going on in my nervous system that prevents me from sleep. And I'm ready to explore this now. And I love and accept all of myself anyway. And even though I have so much difficulty with sleep, And part of me is now wondering whether that's something to do with not feeling safe. I choose to love and accept all of myself exactly as I am. I don't think I said at the start of this video, all you need to do is tap where I'm tapping and repeat what I'm saying. So if you didn't know that, just sit back and do the first, first little bit again. So even though I can't get to sleep at night, and maybe I don't feel safe, maybe there's a part of me that doesn't feel safe. I'm choosing to love and accept myself exactly as I am. I struggle to sleep at night. And I haven't really connected that with safety. But I wonder if that could be part of it. I wonder if my nervous system might be activated. And that might be making it difficult for me to sleep. All of this struggle with sleep. It leaves me feeling exhausted during the day. 
and then it's hard to even research solutions. I wonder if feeling unsafe might have something to do with it. Maybe my body doesn't think sleep is safe. Maybe my body doesn't know that I'm in a safe place to sleep. Maybe my body is stuck in another place or another time. When sleep wasn't safe. I'm ready to communicate with my body now. I'm ready to let it know that I'm safe in my life. Things are safe now. And sleep is safe now. And what if it's not that easy? If I could just tell my body that. And my body would go, oh, okay then. Now we can sleep. Life would be much simpler. But that's not how it works. There might be some work for me to do. To let my body know. That these unsafe times have passed. And maybe I'll need some support with that. And in the meantime, I'm ready to connect with what makes me feel safe. Going back to a time in my life when I felt really safe. time when I felt really supported, a time when I felt nurtured, and maybe I can't access that time, maybe I've never had that time. And I'm allowing myself to create it now. Creating a memory of feeling safe. Imagining a supportive situation. Where everything felt okay. I'm bringing my attention into that place when it's time to go to sleep. And I know that there are other things that I can do to support my sleep. So many strategies. around having a great routine, avoiding blue light, making sure that bed is associated with sleep. And I'm committing to all of these things now. and finding out more about them if I need to. I'm 
I wonder if I already knew these things. Even though I haven't been doing them. I wonder if this part of me that doesn't feel safe to sleep is stopping me protecting me from doing these things so that I don't go to sleep and leave myself vulnerable and I'm ready to communicate with that part now thank you for trying to keep me safe And I'm ready to take it from here. I can see why you're frightened. And you don't want me to sleep. And it's so understandable. But it's time for me to have some sleep now. I deserve to have some sleep now. I need to have some sleep now. So I'm allowing myself those strategies that will help me to sleep. Because in my life right now, There is no threat. There is no danger. Sleep is safe. Sleep is necessary. And I'm allowing myself that now. Sending so much love and kindness. to this part of me that's afraid to sleep. Allowing myself to hold and nurture this part. Allowing myself to be there for this part. And letting it know that we're safe now that I can take over from here and allow myself the beautiful restful sleep that I've always deserved. Take a deep breath. <sighs> How did that feel? Sometimes tapping alone can really help your sleep pattern and you may have noticed as we were tapping that some different things came up for you so not being able to sleep can be about not feeling safe but it can be about something else entirely it could be a hormone thing it could be to do with some other aspects of your life and lots of people find lots of different solutions for sleep so it's really worth researching finding out what's worked for other people giving things a try and listening to your own inner voice so your inner voice may have come through during that tapping and you may have had some ideas that you hadn't thought about around sleep. You may have had some ideas that would just never have occurred to you, like maybe a heavier duvet or a blackout blind or something that you might not have thought of, something that seems really simple. So listen to yourself is really important. Um, we talked about maybe needing to do some deeper work before you're able to get properly to sleep, before you're able to, to feel safe enough to sleep, that is. So that could be work on past trauma. Um, if you would like to do any of that with me, I have one-to-one -one sessions available and the link for that is in the description. I would love to hear from you. You can get a free consultation. Um, Next, we are going to do our hibernation visualisation and this will be a really nice one to do 
as you're going off to sleep. You can do it at any time of the day. It might put you to sleep um, if it works really well and if you're in, in a restful state of mind. But it'll be a really lovely one to do at bedtime. So that is exclusive to Patreon members. If you are not there, please head on over there and so that you can enjoy the benefits of that. And if not, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.